Okay, so let's look at water with three hybrids. How do we get three hybrids? Well, the central oxygen starts with its four unhybridized orbitals. To get three hybrids, we're going to mix the S with two additional P orbitals. That's going to get us three. What type of hybrids? Specifically SP2s because they are two parts P, PXPY, and one part S. Plus, whoops, not a two. One PZ, which is left over unhybridized. Now, instead of drawing this out from scratch, I'm just going to kind of refer back to our picture for ammonia because we drew ammonia as an SP2 hybridized structure. And to do that, we put the three, um, the three hydrogens around nitrogen in this fashion. Those, and each uh, NH bond is, is using one of our sp2 hybrids. And then the leftover PZ, we simply drew with our uh, lone pair. So, you know, here is our, our XY plane, and here's our PZ poking through that plane perpendicular to it. We can draw water in exactly the same way if it's sp2 hybridized. So um, now we're going to have one less hydrogen. So I'll keep two of these hydrogens that we found on nitrogen. And the third hydrogen, the one that's pointed back, I'll still have a pointed back, but I'm going to replace that with the lone pair. And then in the PZ, I'm still going to put that's a lone pair. It's going to be our second lone pair. And this would be water, kind of hopefully drawn within this XY plane and our PZ poking through. And what lies within the, XP, uh, the XY plane? Well, anything that uses a hybrid. So this OH bond, that OH bond, and as well as that lone pair. Now, what do we do with uh, the ammonia? Well, we said this had a bond angle of about 120. This also has a bond angle of about 120. What was the geometry over here? We said this is trigonal planar. Well, this is not trigonal planar because geometry is determined by the orientation of the atoms attached to the central atom. Nitrogen had three, so it was trigonal. Oxygen has two. It's not trigonal. You might kind of want to call it digonal, but what people give it a different name. The, the geometry is determined by the bend in the molecule that occurs with these two OH bonds because they're not in a straight, they're not linear, they're actually bent. And so what do we call the geometry? It's very creative. We call it bent. And so this is if water were sp2 hybridized, which is a possibility, then we'd say it has a bond angle of 120 and the, the um, bond angle, the, the geometry itself is bent.